work session for Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Review of work session discussion and meeting minutes. I do not have any. Um, uh, no. All right. Department head report. I, know I think a lot of people are working out because <laughs> That's of the, the storms last night. The, yeah. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah. The storms. I called Eric Brewer this morning. He said he was working until about 4 a.m. I think he just got home and they're staggering. Yeah. He managed the shift and Colville didn't answer my call. So. I did talk to him so at 7 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> and he said that about the elevator and Brush, Brush, Brush Creek's closed yeah. and it's not looking like it will reopen anytime soon. Um, and the bridge will need inspected again from PennDOT. So that'll take a little bit longer. Um, that area where they play soccer is completely underwater so they're not going to be playing soccer there for a while so with the streets of beaver so it was yeah it was a, quite a storm last night that's for sure we'll move to solicitor's report the only issue i have to report on is on the irs issue there were two sets of documents the irs was looking for one was in 2016 and the other one was in 2018 Corey and payroll have filed the 2016 document. The county, through the reconciliations that they did, the county owes $254.59 to the IRS. So that was paid to them, to the IRS. That check was sent. They're still working through the 2018 one in order to reconcile what, if anything, is owed for that. Alan Corey said the preliminary investigation shows that it's something similar to that number as well, too. We have filed the appeal. We've also been in contact with Connor Lamb's office to move forward with trying to get the rest of the um, penalties abated. Just need to wait to get the documents filed before we can sort of work through that process. So that's where we're at there. Uh, the hope is that the 2018 reconciliations will be done here within the next couple of weeks as well, too. Okay. That's all I have report on for today. Okay. Any questions for the solicitor? What's the amount again, Two hundred and fifty-four dollars and fifty-nine cents is what was <coughs> for the two thousand and sixteen filings. Thanks. Board of Commissioners. Um, we received a letter. I don't. Were you copied on it about the um, Veterans Affairs yeah. bus drivers? Um, there's a proposal um, from a veteran who contacted the three commissioners and gave a, a proposal for the drivers that take veterans to Pittsburgh and wherever they need to go for their doctor's appointments. Um, they do that every Tuesday and Thursday. And um, because there's never any volunteers to kind of do that driving our day buses, um, they're proposing that it be sub out to fry transportation and the the veteran who sent the letter gave case studies of different um, counties and how they handled their volunteer to get the veterans at the appointments um, so I think that it's worth a, a look to talk about the fry transportation and um, maybe talking about putting a per hour for maybe the volunteers or um, but I think we need to bring in Kathy Naren to the fold and kind of get her opinion on what the terms are in this letter and kind of address that so I think that if it's okay if Cindy if you could um, kind of talk to Kathy and see if we can get something on the books to talk about that um, uh, and we, we need a um, food, up, uh, food truck update um, from Tim Mishman um, for how many food trucks we're having and the, there he has some questions on the sound, mm -hmm. how to bring that sound down a little bit further from the stage. Um, I don't have an answer for that, but um, he's asking too about um, the tents and the chairs. I think that he can make a decision on yeah. that question of where 
Um, there, we had said that we were going to have a tent and some chairs. Um, and Tim Mishman is asking about, um, you know, their the coordination between uh, the event and getting that all settled. So I think that he can handle that. Um, uh, but Beaver County Boom. Um, I mentioned this in passing to you, and I wanted to kind of let the public know that um, Beaver County Boom is on a Saturday. Um, my thought is to have a mid-level mid -level or lower-level famous band come in on a Friday night and have it an all-weekend affair so people will come into the county and stay for the weekend. So. Um, Tin's proposal was 60000 every quarter on marketing for Cleveland and um, Columbus and all of those places, and we haven't made a decision on whether we should go with his proposal or not, but m my thought is to kind of parlay that with, with um, Beaver County Boom and, um, and work, spend the money that way. Um, so I looked at, at how much that would cost, and it's around around thirty to forty thousand for a mid-level band. Um, where to put it? Yeah, <laughs> but you've heard of these bands, so like Smash Mouth, like Uncle Cracker, like those kind of things, like people that would go to Jurgles or in Stage AE, and that's who I talked to um, in regards to trying to get. The, some numbers and some drafts so we even know what we're looking at and the lighting and sound the people that are doing that for boom um, they say that to, of that size that they would need you know it's about ten thousand dollars for the sound the lighting um, the rental fees and kind of because they don't bring their own drum sets apparently so we got to do yeah you know. so is that something that we want to consider doing this year for you because I now that I've gotten some draft figures it's falling within the 60,000 that is for the quarter that we would be spending to market the county it's it something that can be done in 20, 20 23 days 23 days it's a yeah. question. Um, and, and that was another thing that we were um, that I was thinking about is the marketing of that um, because the window is so short. Um, uh, Pacer does have a contract with the county, and that could really fall under that. And to get a press release out to the media, um, and uh, maybe you know even a broader spectrum of like WPXI and KKA and all of that to kind of bring this all together but it it's on a short fuse and like you said it's 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 but it's something I think to think about and now giving you kind of the draft of what I kind of the numbers that I'm looking at is that something that we want to go forward with because um, I, I don't want to put too much time into yeah. it if it's not something that we're Gary, do you see an issue with one, we need to find a place, correct? Yeah, um, I, mean, I wrote down location is the first thing that I wrote down. Thursdays is in the kind of discussion phases of how we would manage that um, and how, because they have a brand new stage at it, it, um, Thursdays, but it's outside. So it's kind of on the weather. You're going to have to, so, you know, do we want to put 40 grand out there to do something that might be <coughs> hampered by the weather, you know, or CCBC, maybe we could talk to them. Um, and then the other thought, my thought was the International Speedway. I mean, because there, there's parking out there and um, they have a stage as well. So those are some things that maybe... So if it's at a, a venue like this, it would not have to... You have private security doesn't have to have like if it was, if it was at an outdoor park someone would have to have the police is that yeah what? yeah if it, if it was at a public place if you will you'd have to speak with the local municipality in order to see if you can get the availability of using that park 
they would want some type of security. They might want um, uh, portage joints installed based on the amount of people that are going to be there. Whereas if it's at a, a private venue, you wouldn't have that issue. Um, you know, obviously the financial aspect of it too would have to be ironed out here in the next couple of weeks. So I, I think if you wanted to do this, we got to start moving on this ASAP in order to, you know, pull it off over the next three weeks. And the, I guess the other thing too is, is are the, the bands even available for whatever date we're going? To the two that I just threw out there are available for that day. I think the, the venues as well, right? Yes, and the venue for Thursdays is is open. They're open to the discussion at least, and um, but we would have to talk to the municipality. So, and that would be yeah, Bridgewater. So, Mr. Schwartz has a question. Just another suggestion for venue that you might consider would be the Bridgewater Park, which is county owned, and that way you could double up on the infrastructure that's being set up. We own a very small piece of the Bridgewater Park. The big field that is there is not owned by the county. So it's the dock and yeah, the, the dock and the ramp and, and, and the ramp is just enough park. that we have to weed whack the whole <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah. So we looked into that. Sandy looked <laughs> yeah. into that first. Yeah, that's where I kind of wanted it to be at because that would the the sound will resonate over to Manaka and Rochester. So that that would be something that we would have to ask. Um, Mr. Butters, yeah, kind of if that, but that again is with weather, you know, spending this kind of money for something that is going to be outside is taking a real big risk. If, if you want to look at Thursdays and international speed, I mean, I, it's, I, I don't know if it's. Did, did, does, does Tim say that he has the money? Yeah, well, he told us that he did. I mean, he, he said that he was going to spend 60000 every quarter to bring people <coughs> into the county, and my suggestion was to do this to bring people into the county. So I think the first step would be to just to make sure that we have the money. I think the second step might be to try to nail down a location. I mean, my, my thoughts are 23 days is a very short period of time. I, it, I would think we would want to spend a day or two, three maybe, and really look and see if there's a venue. If we can do this, can we pull it off? And I, I believe that Tim is not here because of all the things that were happening with the parks and such. But you know, he has staff hmm. to, to kind of handle this. So I'll put that over to him and see what he can get us in the next couple days and we'll, we'll revisit this is that okay with you yeah okay. um cafe is going to be closed through the second week of june is that correct first week, first week of june um lance sent us a um email about uh the r caps that are now going to be open that's grant funding for the communities around um, beaver county and I asked for the criteria and um, the existing R, R caps and when they're going to be expired. So I think that we should, you know, at least have a conversation about um, those R caps and where they are in the process of getting completed. And because that round is coming up, and um, that's a lot of money coming into the county for grants. Uh, so um, there were several of them that were sent in to the county for funding and i'm hearing that there's some answers on a couple of them yeah verbal answers that that that's encouraging that they're going to i had a call with with um or email with lance too after you said the email okay it, this is for future RCAP grant, right? This is the yeah. priority for future. Okay. And I was I was confused I was, I was said blending the in yeah. all the conversations together. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So there are ones that are going to be expiring, and we haven't used some money. So do we want to allocate that to something else, or you know, have Lance, you know, give us a draft of what his recommendations are? So, um, Cindy, can you mark that down that we should have? Um, have Lance come up and kind of give us a, a rundown 
and um, I would just ask for a few minutes in executive session on union discussions and get an update on that. Well, thank you. I had a wonderful time at a graduation. Uh, first, as a note, that the library is having its annual fundraising on Friday, Saturday, and Monday, and we have not record setting, but a good collection of books. So, uh, that's the, at the second Beaver, that's at the Beaver Library. That's at the yes, Beaver Library. Um, reassessment. We were talking about that. What's the status of that court? Are we going to have to go through reassessment? We are waiting for the Supreme Court to decide whether or not they will hear our appeal. They have, they have uh, the option to hear our appeal or not. Um, we expected that a decision to be made around the 90-day mark. We're now right. past that, and we still have yeah. not heard. So we'll let you know when we hear something. But as of today, we haven't. That's a surprise. There was an audit going on with the, uh, what, the hotel rooms? Yes. How has that gone? Is that that 60 grand uh, <laughs> what, from yeah, that? Yes, and partially, yes. Um, and I have not had an update. I saw that Tim was going to be talking to the treasurer's office to facilitate that to, to get those discussions moving, but I haven't heard any updates, any updates. So, yeah there's a contractor that's going to be auditing that and I don't know where it is in the process hmm. so we'll, we'll get an update on that and report back to you okay those were the only three things I had Connecticut is lovely for graduation so. hi uh, Laura Lee Bernke Beaver County Genealogy History Center I've been here for a couple months but I thought I'd come in and give you an update of what's going on at the center um, our past members meeting, we celebrated our 48th anniversary since our founding in 1971 and our upcoming sixth year anniversary at the former 911 facility in the Weaver here. Uh, we'll be there six years, I think I'm about middle of July. And um, last night, and all the thunderstorms, we had our first uh, of the series of genealogy classes. It was very well attended. Uh, the public is um, very much in favor of it, and we have a waiting list for our next session, so when that's scheduled, we'll contact uh, those people first and let them know what the dates are. Um, the storms were very interesting last night. We didn't lose power, though, so that was a good thing. Where did you hold those classes? We're holding them down in the facility. In the, fi in okay. the center, because a lot of the materials in the collection, Is, oh, there. we'll be discussing that during the presentation, mm -hmm. and that way, after it's over, anybody that's in the class is able to go through the materials that are there. That we did last night, we started with certain files and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, the next class we'll get into more details. We'll be talking about the common records that they'll run across while uh, doing research. Things like census records. We'll discuss um, court records like birth, marriage, and death certificates, how they can obtain those. The focus will be mostly Pennsylvania and Beaver County, but we'll start broad and, and narrow down in the discussion because of course, we're located in the county, so we want, we want to do that. But uh, the participants in the class, they seem to enjoy, um, and they all had participation. They had a lot of questions and comments and things, so it went really well. Is Brenda Applegate into the fold on those? No, no. Okay. She's like her own entity. Yes. Right? Okay. So all right. Technically, yeah. We're still struggling financially, so if you guys were able to find any funding for us, it would be greatly appreciated. Several times. Oh, yeah. I tell people Thursday's the best day because that's yeah. the day on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Any other audience participation? Hearing none. Eyes are, we don't need to reconvene after executive session. No, I don't. All right, we'll move into executive session, not reconvene. Thank you.